And today I want to stir your heart to believe in praying. You see, you can be a Christian, but you don't really believe in prayer. And you don't really believe in prayer, not because you say you don't believe, but by the practice. Because it's easy, I mean, there's no Christian in his right mind who will say, I don't believe in prayer. I mean, there's no, even sometimes unbelievers who don't go to church, they believe in prayer. Do you see? And they believe so much that they virtually do nothing major in their lives without a prayer input. I mean, they themselves may not pray, but they will call on somebody who can pray. That please. Even some people pay people to pray for them. I, I hear, I hear, I don't know, but I hear there are some politicians who have some prayer warriors on their payroll. Hey, so you see, those of you who don't pray, you would have got a job. Cry. They'll be giving you dollars. Then you pray at dawn. They just want to hear your voice. And then they feel assured that it is well. Do you see? But you see, we who are Christians can get to a place where prayer is relegated to the background like an unwanted child. Yes. And it's not because you say you don't believe in prayer, but by the way you conduct your life and the time you allot for prayer, do you see? And what you pray about and do not pray about is symptomatic of one who does not believe in prayer. Yes, for by their fruits we shall know them. When you even tell a brother who, is in, who claims he's looking for a beloved that he should pray about such an issue, he, he feels you are worrying him or you are delaying him. If you tell a sister who has, a brother has seen and has proposed to her and you tell her pray about it, oh, she, will, she will feel that you don't like her progress and you are against this nice brother that she has met. <laughs> you are preventing her from getting her breakthrough so they will sprinkle some and people have a way of say I'm going to an akazu you see because a proposal has come so I'm going to an akazu then they go there and sprinkle some prayer in the atmosphere and then they come and say oh the thing that you said no, I agree cry. we should continue so I've prayed about it but they have not really prayed. They said yes before they went. So they are just going to, I don't know whether to inform God or to, to let him to sort of mark the register that at least I have I added it to my prayer topics. Mm -hmm. But in reality, there are many believers who do not really practice prayer. As you know, I was somewhere when I, was, I saw these, our people praying. And um, I asked the person, in fact, they closed their shops for two hours or so and reopened from 6 o'clock to, I think, 8 p.m. and reopened the shop. And then they, they reopened it till 10 p.m. because they want to go and pray and come. Uh, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like these people are in another religion. Do you see? And they believe so much in prayer that during the and they have hours of prayer, times of prayer. And when it is time to pray, they close their shops to go and pray. And they go to pray. so I ask that ah, is it like two hours prayer or what type of? I mean, what, how, how long are they supposed to go and pray? So oh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes so the travel time and traffic and all that to go and come are factored into it so that within two hours there you would have gone and finished your 15 minutes and returned back to your shop to reopen it for business but if we had Christians and we say we are praying and we are fasting 
to commit the year which you don't know about. <laughs> you don't know what is coming even at the end of this month. No February. I don't want to say tomorrow, but just extend it a bit. And March, before you get to November and December, do you see things are going to happen and which will affect you whether you like it or not and whether you have prayed or not whether you and whether you even want it to affect you or not it's going to affect you i mean simple one is this um this uh, bonds that they say they are they have uh, domestic debt exchange where they have they have frozen all the bonds that people have used their pension and sweat to acquire and felt that this was the safest most secure investment in any nation to put your money in is government bonds you know an untouchable investment so uh, then now it is touchable and without whether you consent to it or not they are saying that by 2033 then they will release so one man was saying that see 2020 will i be alive even to see this money <laughs> you know is it my children, grandchildren who are coming to enjoy my money that i need right now to buy medicines and other things that i should die and leave it for somebody else but nobody is answering such questions you see you may have been there thinking to yourself that oh all things being equal ceteris peribus as the economists often say government bonds are the most secure investments to put your money in so many christians without prayer without consultation will just go because that is popular opinion and popular uh, belief do you see and we just go into it not knowing that by the end ere the year 2022 will end there shall come a move by an individual in government or a group of persons in government who will give who will give an instruction or come up with an idea even just the thought poll will occur to them that but we are government there are some people who have government bonds have their plenty money is there we are not touching we can't touch they belong well let's go and use it as collateral for a loan from imf as you are sitting coolly in your house waiting because many people put their hope in that investment and they sit down that oh come september when it matures i collect my interest and I start using my interest day by day as my daily money. Do you understand? Not knowing that <laughs> come September, no. September crowd will not come. By January, you'll be told that you will get that money in 2033. Yes, but you see, you didn't know that. And you didn't think that it will affect you. And you are sitting quietly, minding your own business. And somebody's uh, discussion and decision affects you perhaps if you had committed it to prayer the Lord would have changed something about because you see if you believe in prayer prayer can change things prayer can alter the course of events if you believe that's what I'm saying that we are believers who are supposed to pray but we don't really believe in the element of prayer so 